Hello everyone and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. I just want to post this um, before the day is out in case you're watching this um, uh, when this particular legendary lost sector is available to you in this uh, season. Uh, we're done tackling perdition. Um, it's right here located. So if you go to um, Carrion's Crossing and head up north is right there. Or uh, with the new season drop, Eventide Ruins, and just head down south. The uh, reason this one is born for this today um, is because the exotic chess piece armor is available. And with the new season drop, there's exotic chess pieces. And so they're really quite nice. And so in case you're happening to try to squeeze in, this might be a helpful guide for you and all that. So let's get into the build. I'm not claiming that this is the best build out there, but this worked for me and hopefully it'll work for you. And so I'm on my Warlock and I am running the subclass uh, Stormcaller, uh, Arc, and the Middle Tree. Uh, reason being is for the Iron Traces, which gives you energy on kills. It's quite nice to have. Also, the ranged melee is quite nice if you're needing to pop some people in long range and chaos reach is just fun to use good amount of damage and all that um yeah i'll be walking through the mindset of why i'm using everything that is i guess i'm not why i'm using everything um then i'm the exotic on legs is the geomag stabilizers it just pairs well with the uh chaos reach because it extends the chaos reach super and also sprinting can add super energy so and pretty much what happens is once you get to the halfway point of your fourth quarter, when you sprint, you'll be able to regen it very quick and get your super back, which is nice. Uh, primary slot is going to be the Night Watch, which is a scout rifle. Uh, pretty much, uh, if you have another scout rifle, just put in this slot here. Um, then secondary slot is the Imperial Needle. It is available in this season. It was just released. That's why the symbol is there. Uh, it has void, which there's some enemies with void uh, shields, it's nice, and is a bow, which has the overload feature, so it's a two-in-one package, which is quite nice. My exotic is the Anarchy uh, Grenade Launcher, it just deals a nice amount of damage, it's arc-based, but if you don't have one Anarchy and you're trying to save up for it, I would say the next best thing would be the 7th Sarah Saw. It's arc, LMG, pretty good to have. Uh, mod wise, I'm not really focused. I just pretty much focus everything on intellect because of the chaos reach. Everything else is pretty standard, but I'll just hover over these real quick just so you can pause. On the arms, there's the overload bow mod as well as the anti barrier scout rifle. Make sure those are the two important things. Everything else is just pretty much extra icing on the cake if you want. But you can, um, just make sure you have those in your hands. Anything else you can just build around if you don't have these exact mods. So first and foremost, the reason is because they're, we're going against um, Vex. So we'll be dealing with Harpies with Arc Damage. So with this guy here, melee range, kill instantly. Switch your Anarchy, kill those. Switch there, that should pop that. And then with here, if you're quick enough, which I wasn't, uh, you could kill that mini boss fairly quickly. Pretty straightforward. And we'll let that go. So then there's going to be some spawning in. Make a triangle right there. And there's our void guy right there. But he went through our inner key shots. And there's some more. That little trace right there gives us some energy back. Quite nice. Hit that guy. There we go. Cool. So we don't have to deal with him a little bit later. But if you don't happen, if you can't uh, finish him off like that, it's okay. You have barrier rounds. Pretty straightforward. All right. Let's see if we can die. There we go. Finish him off with that. Uh, if you're having hard times with these teleporting guys, just wait for um, them to teleport and just aim. And once you see their person, just shoot again, and it'll stun them. Because uh, sometimes you might have an anarchy shot go through, which is annoying, has been to me quite a few times. 
Uh, but yeah, just be patient pretty much is the aim of the game. But with this, you can pretty much just uh, pretty straightforward. This part here, I'm just going to shoot until I see that overload. Going to wait for him to teleport around the corner. We're just done right there. Perfect. Oops. Missed my, both my anarchy. You just need two shots. For those who just got your anarchy and wondering how to get the maximum amount of damage, two shots of your anarchy is enough to yield much damage. So wait for him to teleport. Boom, see, there he goes. Finish off. Boom. Um, okay, so if you hand kill that mini boss, that mini Hydra, uh, he will be spawning up there. So I'll pretty much just use these crates, peek around the corner, use your scout rifle since it's barrier. You'll go through that Im immunity shield that's circling slowly around them and just finish them off. All right, we have Chaos Reach, which is good because they're going to be two uh, Waverns or whatever you want to call them. I like to call them chicken legs. Uh, I killed those uh, void barriers, um, shields right there with your bow. Nice and easy. He's going to come around the corner, execute, boom. Ooh, we're going to get some materials. And there's that barrier guy right there. Let's see if we can be pro and send our anarchy shots in his face so we can pop the shield. There we go. Oh, yikes. Yeah, so um, just take your time. You can definitely flawless this. Uh, don't die, but sometimes bullets get in your way and all that. But yeah, just take your time. Nice and easy. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, sometimes they like to move. Yeah, there we go. He's done now. Finish off with that. Boom. And there's some heavy that dropped right ahead of us. I really want the the waverns to drop so we can use our chaos reach on them. All right. Uh, there's one. Let's see little wings. Ah, there's go. We go one. Usually the other one comes down the stairs, but no dice. Okay. Usually you can use your chaos reach to knock out both of them at the same time. But if you can't, just use your one or two shots of anarchy. Should be enough to take him out. Like so. Yep. You just use one for that one, which was nice. Think I got him? Yeah. Yeah, uh, even though you have them in their shield, they will shoot you. So just make sure you use that cover. Nice and simple. All right, next part, they're going to be enemies that will spawn. Pretty much use a simple triangle like so. Hide behind here. And then two shots on the boss. If you can, back up. Get that little thing. Throw your grenade. That should kill the boss, just like so. And if you're feeling really gutsy, you can actually just run to the chest right now and get your loot but I'm going to play it safe just for the sake of the video and then we'll just finish off the enemies for right now just for good measure boom done so yeah that's, that was a pretty straightforward run not too bad when we do platinum so hopefully that was helpful and I will catch you in the next video.